Most of the people think that the internet lies in satellites or in the cloud. It's a reasonable idea, but it's actually wrong. The internet is under the ocean. Now let me show you how this works in the simplest possible way. Now let's say that you send a WhatsApp message to your friend who is living in a different country. What happens? Now as soon as you hit send, the phone is going to fire radio waves into the air. Now these would get then converted into electrical signals that will then travel across your local network. Eventually they will reach something called as the cable landing station where these electrical signals will be then converted into light pulses. So yeah, your WhatsApp text message is getting converted into a beam of light here. Now this beam of light gets shooted into the giant fiber optic cables that are lying under the ocean. Your message is not going into the space. It is actually swimming across the ocean as light. Now you might ask yourself, why are we not using satellites here? Satellites are thousands of kilometers away from us. So hypothetically, if we use them, the message is going to go there, thinking about all the life and the philosophy, and then going to come back real nice and slow. This won't be practical, fast, and scalable as well, which is why we use fiber optic cables. Now fiber, it is cheap, it is stable, also, we are sending the messages as light and nobody can bet against the speed of the light. Finally, we are using oceans and oceans provide free protection, free cooling, and there is no subscription needed. Well, just a crazy idea. What if a hungry shark comes and then just bites these cables? Or maybe like an earthquake that just jiggles them around? This is not a joke. This actually happened in 2008 near Alexandria, Egypt, where a couple of the cables were snapped. And as a result, 70% of Egypt's internet was affected. Also, it had its impact in India as well as some of the Middle Eastern countries. So the cables better be watchful of those cute hungry sharks. By the way, if you are interested to see the entire underwater cable map, I have pasted the link in the description. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. We try to make everyday complex tech into simple stories like this.